All right, before the riffraff comes in, I figured I'd show you what we're eating for dinner. Oh, P.S. Welcome to a new week. This is what we're having for dinner tonight. Whoa, Wentworth is trying to grab the camera. Um, I got this chicken from Costco today. Awesome. And then I just cooked up some uh, French green beans. I'm so fancy with some um, just little mushrooms. And I made my own gravy with the drippings from the chicken. And inside the oven, can I show you? Whoa, steamage. All right, inside there are just some potatoes with a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper. So that's what we're having tonight. I thought I'd show you when it looks all pretty before I put it on a plate. Okay, we just ate. I feel like I need to update you guys. This chicken from Costco tastes so much better than the chicken from Sam's Club. I don't know if we just got a really good one, but this was so moist. Even the white meat, like, so good. What's with you in that word? People don't like the word moist. Moist. They, moist. Why? I don't know. People just are offended by it. Moist. <laughs> it moist. is non-dry. It is very... Moist. What's a, What's another synonym for moist? I don't know. There's some people... Delicious. You, what are the things that drive you nuts? Like, what are some of the things that really drive you nuts? Saying the word moist is one of them for some people. I hate when there isn't soap in bathrooms. Yes. Well, it's similar to that hatred. <laughs> I bet you there's going to be someone who's watching this that just hates the word moist. 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 <laughs> but for real, it's delicious. <laughs> and it's moist. And moist. <laughs> All right, everything is still sizzling straight out of the oven. This is what we're having tonight. Some roasted potatoes again. We're obsessed. Oh, really, Wentworth? Um, some honey garlic chicken. I have a recipe video up on my channel of that. It is so delicious, and we're kind of obsessed with this. Um, just some roasted Brussels sprouts and we have leftover brown rice. I'm gonna throw it on the plate and these are leftover vegetables I'm gonna throw on my plate and you guys asked me how I get my kids to eat um, The dinners when I told you earlier like in lunch videos and stuff that some of them are kind of picky well, my secret is ketchup ketchup and gravy and uh, I Don't know dad throws down the hammer <laughs> All right, tonight for dinner. Oh my gosh, it's so crazy. Hold on a minute. All right, so this is what I made. It's tilapia. This is the box. I got it from Costco. So it's tilapia with Veracruz salsa. I don't know. It smells good. Doesn't look exactly like the picture, right? <laughs> um, I also made some stuffed mushrooms. I don't know how those are going to look. My pan is really fancy though, right guys? And this, oh my gosh, I could eat this for dinner. Hold on, let me put the pan down. I could eat this for dinner like on its own, no joke. Bacon, onions, and green beans. Oh my gosh, my mouth is watering. And then I just threw some rolls in the oven just to warm them up, get them nice and toasty, ready to eat. So I'm gonna plate everything and that's that. All right, all right, all right. Tonight for dinner, I am the black sheep. I'm having a black bean burger. I don't know what else is in it. Probably quinoa. This is probably what's in it, just, you know, in a different form. I made quinoa, um, black beans, corn, and onions, and just like salt and pepper kind of thing. I'm going to add, oh, it does not look so good. Alex said he doesn't want one. Boom. Um, I'm going to add mustard and, oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this stuff. We bought it, what, four days ago, Alex? <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's so good. Um, I got that from Costco, and I'm seriously going to go back and get some now. Oh, can't wait. Um, I made the girls and Alex just some black beans and corn, and then, where'd it go? Quesadillas and an orange for them, and that's Daddy's plate. And, oh, that's little Wentworth's plate. He's just getting some beans tonight. We'll see if he likes it, and if he does, maybe I'll give him some orange. He does love oranges. All right, so that is for dinner's. Okay, I feel like I need to update you on these burgers. They were delicious. I l really enjoyed it. Um, and this salsa, I threw a lot of the salsa on it. And I actually threw some salsa on my quinoa. Oh, and P.S., I don't think these were um, particularly spicy. But I guess they're not, quote, spicy. They just say chipotle. Um, but the salsa is so good, guys. I'm seriously addicted. I can eat it on anything. I told Alex I could put it in my cereal. And he said, 
what, a cereal made of chips? It was hilarious! Anyway, buy that salsa. It's so good. All right. Oh, my goodness. Okay, people, tonight for dinner we have a guest. And um, I just threw this in the oven. I'm kind of not feeling it today. We've, I've never had these. They are the meatballs, the chicken meatballs from Costco. They're chicken with candied jalapenos and mango. I'm going to try it right now, let you know. I feel like it needs a topping, some kind of juice. I don't know. Otherwise, it's really good. I'm just going to serve it on top of rice. And then I made like a stir fry vegetable. It has um, onions, green beans, and mushrooms. Okay, guys, tonight for dinner, I made a bunch of broccoli. Mm, doesn't that look good? And then I made a crock pot meal. We were, you know, crock pot meals are awesome. Um, this crock pot meal, I kind of just threw stuff in a crock pot. There's chicken thighs in there. Um, I put eight ounces of cream cheese, but I used, I think I threw it away. It's like dairy free cream cheese. It's tofu -y, like tofu cream cheese. And then I threw in some Italian seasoning. So it's dairy free. And what else did I throw in? I don't remember. Um, and then I just threw in some pepperoncinis for fun and flavor. So that's hopefully tastes delicious. And then I'm gonna throw this on my plate. It is from Costco. It's a sweet kale blend. It's French. I don't know. Choufre do? Choufre say? Fraise? I don't. I have no idea, guys. I do not speak French. Oh, as much as I would want to, but it's seven superfoods. I'm going to throw some rice on the girls' plates, and for dessert, the best part. Um, I made these. Well, I haven't made them yet. The oven just preheated, so now I can put them in. 375. Oh, my gosh. And it made an extra one, 13. Oh, I'm so excited about it. So I'm going to throw those in. We'll see how they taste. I'm super excited. But um, thank you guys uh, for watching and hanging out. What's, what's a good shot I can end it on? That chick on? Those are lots left over from last night. Oh, I don't think I filmed last night. <laughs> oh, well. We basically had this with zucchini and onions and I don't know. I just made like a stir fry of vegetables and roast and not roasted. I just pan fried this uh, these chicken thighs with a little bit of salt and pepper. Anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I hope this video gives you some inspiration. I don't know. Um, I'm excited for these. Maybe I'll let you know how they turn out. But thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. All right, people, there they are. They're all finished and they're absolutely delicious. If you haven't noticed, there's two missing. I don't know where they went. Maybe in my belly. Anyway, if you made it to the end, uh, why don't you comment a spaghetti emoji because I'm pretty sure Next week, I'm going to share my homemade spaghetti sauce recipe, red sauce, authentic Italian pasta sauce with you, maybe if I end up making it. I'm really craving it, so uh, we'll see what happens. But thank you guys again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Yes, you